Hi there, this is Sam from Chanson Water. Today we'll be installing the Chanson Miracle Max Plus or any of the Miracle Max to basically uh, directly to the cold water underneath the sink. I'm mean, gonna underneath the sink, all right? Okay, so the cold water directly to the machine above the sink. This machine, the Max Miracle Max, not the Royal Miracle Max, cannot be installed under the sink, all right? Okay, just to be clear, it cannot be installed under the sink. And secondly, um, this is a do-it-yourself video. Anything I say here is not liable to me or my company or SLT Trader and Limited, all right? Uh, this is do your own risk. If not, hire the plumber. They will be able to do it properly for you. If you just use this as a reference, yeah, sure. Okay, on how to install it, do it on your risk, okay. All right, so basically, and just this machine over here, all the black ones are inside here in the box, all right, okay. So, um, in the previous videos or the videos that you watch on how to, if, how to install the, the John Gas T um, angle stop valve, okay, that will be able to redirect the water, okay. And then after that, if you have a C3 that came with it, you w please watch the video. If you don't, you can skip this step and direct hook this directly to the machine sitting above. So what does, what does that do? Basically, what that do is that it frees up the tap, okay? Your kitchen sink, so that you don't have to hook up the ugly uh, water diverter that's on the sink. I'll show it to you in a minute and then then uh, basically you can hook it up directly to the water and then that will be independent of your sink um some a lot of manufacturers do not offer that and one of the biggest one that charges you guys a hell of a lot of money um that's not they make you go change the basically the faucet um in my opinion none of my customers want that and why would you make your customer change a big nice faucet kitchen on the kitchen where they just renovated and spent a few hundred dollars on it and then make them buy a fifty dollars faucet if you're in the states that thing will have cost you only twenty dollars or even free okay that's because it's in the u.s no all right okay all right here this is the ugly ugly uh adapter okay what this is good for is that if you can really cannot um if you no other choice you're renting you have to have it then that's the only way if you cannot drill in through your counter into your, into your sink, all right? Um, why is that available? Yeah, sure, there's still a lot of people renting. So, and this is the easiest way to install it. And this is the only way, this is the only type of faucet that allows this type of installation, okay? If you have any other type of faucet, kitchen faucet, it will not work most likely, all right? 99% it will not work, all right? Okay, so uh, it comes with it in your uh, Chance America Max. Please look at it. Okay, so uh, in order to install this, all right, uh, make it easy and make it quick. Okay, watch the previous video on how to install the John Gast. Okay, and then watch the video on how to uh, install the C3 if you need to. Okay, then the next step you have is basically just imagine um, you have a C3 and the water line is coming out this way here, all right? Okay, if you don't, just imagine this is the line that goes th through the thing directly, okay? And next thing you have, if you w watch one of my videos, you remember inside the anchor stop valve kit where you have this reducer. This is when the reducer comes in, okay? So you remove the ring, the safety ring, both sides, and then Set it aside, you're not gonna throw that away, okay? All right, just set it aside, those safety rings. You're gonna reinstall it. Next thing you know, you're gonna put this and then install it and that's it. Now, this is our pre-demo, okay? So this is a quarter inch line. Um, you will have to drill a hole in the sink, uh, I mean above your counter, on the countertop, or and then come through into this cabinet, right? So that you can access to the cold water. If you only have the adapter, that's all you do. Just basically connect it from three eighths to quarter inch and connect it. After you drill the hole, run the line through 
and come down okay so you need a quarter inch drill bit to do that uh, let me show you how mine is done um, everyone else is different if you have a stone or granite countertop you need a stone or granite counter I'm not here to teach you how to do that because that's do at your own risk okay I'm not liable for that either too okay so for me this is just a as simple as drilling a quarter inch hole and then just give it a wiggle and then deburr both sides so that you know your tubes don't get cut so if you know what I'm talking about deburring that's very important okay so you have to deburr it and then make sure that it's so that the, this tube is nice and tight uh, will not cut itself or will not score its tube it loses uh, rigidity which means it will burst okay that's do at your own risk too okay so Anyone with a granite countertop or wood countertop, much better. You can just do that, drill it, and then that'll be fine. Okay, and then after that, pop the holes or the quarter inch tube all the way down, and then basically fit it. Basically, now take the quarter inch tube and find where you want to. If it's from the C3, you have a little bit of C3 out and then just basically connect it to it using the connector, the reducer, the quarter inch to three is or three is the quarter inch reducer. And then after that, once it's done, make sure the safety clips goes on. Okay. And I'm going to show you something. Come close. I did, that. I did this on purpose to show you this is not on the clip it's not on the clip is on the tube okay all right remove that watch it once the clip goes on you hear a click sound all right it'll be nice and secure all right nice and snug you don't go anywhere unless you pull on it Okay, you have to pull on it. It can be reused many, many times. Okay, so once it's done, like this, you will have a cold water line. This way now, you have cold water line directly to the machine. Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this thing. We stand up over here, we've taken out the ionizer from the box. Okay, as you see, I've taken it out. Okay. All right, this is a brand new one. I'm not gonna be opening it up because these are really expensive, all right? So I'm only gonna use my demo. So inside here, you're gonna see a couple of things that I won't see on the demo. These are stop things, just remove them so that the water line can go in, all right? And notice how the clips are still on it. Just remember to remove them, okay? So next thing you're gonna do before you hook it up the water line, also install the power cord I'm gonna show you and something I missed, okay? When you open up the box, you're gonna see all these things here, the warning. Please read it. Basically, the warning is just, just tell you, do not um, sh run this machine without water. That means do not power it on without turning on the water. Redirecting the water to the machine first. Basically, make sure the water is going into the machine before you run the machine. If not, you're gonna burn the engine out just like a car without any um, coolant on it, all right? Okay, so make sure that this is at least at low, do not shut off. If your water pressure is really slow, okay, make sure that this is on until you can see some trickle of water. So that means you gotta make sure the water has to flow out from here. If there's no water flow flowing out, then something's wrong. I'll show you how to diagnose that later, okay? So um, please read this and then read the warranty and also the man user manual, okay? All right. So, inside this package, you're gonna see this, basically this electrical cord, all right? And then this extra tube, you're gonna use this as a, for your basically hooking it up to your machine or to your acid water, all right? Okay, and finally, this is a really important thing. This is your pressure regulator, okay? You need to install this, okay? So you usually install this behind, right behind the machine, but it's a little bit clunky. Some of you guys may choose to install it underneath 
with the C3 but make sure this is hold up wherever you install make sure it's securely hold up do not let it dangle make sure do not let it dangle on this tube on this water line somewhere in the air in the thing this thing is heavy enough to break off the pressure okay this is a warning if this thing breaks in between we're not liable in any way because this is your, your own installation all right okay make sure that this does not dangle in the air and if your plumber let it dangle fire him sue the shit out of him okay all right okay so do not let it dangle anywhere in between that okay make sure it's hold up that's serious that's not not a joke okay all right all right next thing you're gonna have is basically this thing here your flex tube okay install this flex tube on here right you see it's installed right here okay all right okay so you see this extra mineral basket in there this one here there's already one inside every ionizer okay all right and this one right here with the yellowish one okay this is a mineral basket the one that's a little bit more whitish is for salt all right if you're going to use the salt function make sure you use the white color one that's supplied inside here the yellow one that's for minerals and then remember that the uh, connection for the faucet we will go through in another video this one here is inside this package and then you also need this thing right here this is just to hold down the acid water tube if you choose to if you don't that's fine all right okay so i'm going to set it inside most likely we're not going to use it okay so next thing you do install the power cord to the machine simply take it out put it in there okay that's it done and then this thing here simply just screw on okay don't use a wrench all right okay just hand tight good enough if it's leaking use a little bit of teflon tape that will fix it all right use a little bit of teflon tape if it's only leaking do not use it if it's not leaking all right okay so you see how this thing here is always limpy all right put it back up here i'm gonna show you a trick to it okay tight straight you can just use your hand tighten it wherever it's loose it's nice and straight see you can even flex it so after a while usually it turns basically loosen itself this is just spring loaded okay so that's it done all right next thing you know as you say you're going to install the pressure regulator okay Make sure you remove the clips and how we're going to install this pressure regulator watch this there's this arrow this arrow points towards the machine okay the arrow points towards the machine that means the water flows in here comes out goes towards the arrow goes towards the machine all right a lot of people do not know that okay do not adjust anything at the bottom here all right okay this is preset at anything below 100 psi so you'll be good for most canadian city if it's anything above 100 psi call your city all right okay let's screw up all right okay here and now we're going to install this towards the thing okay. so as you guys see uh, my mobile the tube see this is already here okay so i always leave a little bit of room for us to do make sure that the direction install okay then install one of these clips on here okay all right like this And then after that, um, once you're done here, install the final one of the 
find a last two piece one here in here okay stick it up install the clip okay this one here just make sure this little bit snug doesn't come right out okay all right so that's it done make sure this thing here doesn't come out and then grab my machine and you're gonna ask where does the water go in simply if you see this thing right here this long one this is a pre-dust filter and if you look at the bottom okay this is water out water out water in in all right this is in water goes in there all right so you're going to remove this clip this thing here right here make sure you don't do what i just did okay pick it up find it put it back okay install this back in and then install the clip okay. next final thing get a small piece of hose cut the desired length insert this over here okay and then next thing you know you have this thing here remember we saw in the package okay this is just a suction cup that's it done so this is acid water out water coming in from supply water coming in from the supply line goes in there okay all right okay so see how this thing here is not dangling it's just resting nicely on here okay even this i don't really like it just just for showing okay all right and then after that just power it up take a power cord make sure that the thing is snug at the bottom if it's a little bit loose it will not power up okay now so plug in and next thing you know let's turn on okay all right i'm going to show you one more time when it turns off when you turn on see how the color comes on all right okay you're ready to go okay um i won't be running the water right now okay not for this uh, video all right okay so basically that's it okay so next thing you know in order of uh, one question i did have recently how do you turn on and let the water out make sure that the thing on the side here is at max okay all right so and then the next thing you know is that there's a power button right on top right here strong alkaline and power alkaline three strong alkaline power press that and that's it it says turn on okay and press it one more time it says turn off listen to it one more time all right that's the machine talking to you select a desired level of water that you want to drink and please read the instructions if not ask the dealer what to do in the first few weeks okay so if you have any question leave me a message on youtube okay so i can get it and have a great day hope you enjoyed this video and then give me a thumbs up if you like it if not give me a thumbs down um if you need any questions just leave it on the comment i'll try to answer as soon as i can uh, I hope this video helps you in your installation. Um, if you need anything, contact me. Or if you need to purchase one of this machine, contact me too. Alright, okay. Have a great day. Bye. See you guys.